Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new ESC and it's from Hobbywing and this is called the Xroder Micro 30 Amp ESC. Now what's so cool about this? Well it's DSHOT 1200 ESC, it's traded up to 30 amp constant current and a 50 amp burst. Now it's actually, this guy is pretty tiny, I don't know how you guys have seen it on camera, but it's actually 14 millimeters by 25 millimeters, so it's absolutely tiny, even its wires are small. So this guy's going to be crazy, and I don't know how he's going to stack up right now, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to compare him to something of, in his class range, which would be the Airbot Minis, uh, the V1s, not the V2s, I have not tested the V2s just yet. So we're going to be comparing them in a noise testing perspective and to see how overall they perform here on the bench before actually installing them on a quadcopter and doing the real world testing. So, so far, just reading some of its specs, it's it's stating some, you know, just, just like any other ESC, um, you know, high quality MOSFETs, uh, third generation BL Heli, which has the BL Heli 32, ceramic capacitors, three in one drive ICs, three ounce of copper, four layers of PCB. That's what they're stating. I mean, it's all nice on paper, but we're going to see how all of this is going to uh, test out on the bench right now. Um, so overall, it's, it's it's very tiny, actually. I don't have an Airbot Mini right now next to me to actually compare, but this guy is small. So like I said, he's 14 millimeters by 25 millimeters. And let's go ahead and check its weight real quick. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and zero out the scale here. All right. And one moment. This is getting very heavy. All right, so here it's saying it's six grams, which is pretty insane actually, six grams. So let's go ahead and set this up like so. So six grams, that's pretty light, that's pretty good. Um, it's actually very good. So it's, it's, this is going to be for some kind of light build. And, you know, let's just check its current specs. So obviously looking at it, the AirBot Minis do have current sensing. These guys don't have current sensing, uh, which is kind of a letdown a little bit. Um, what else do we have here? I mean, we really have nothing. Even I don't think there's a telemetry pad, or if they do, it's probably covered, or we could probably access telemetry through one of here. I don't know if it's going to have any, uh, you know, temperature control here or temperature uh, telemetry here. But um, it's just a basic D Shot 1200 ESC that is supposedly using high quality MOSFETs and has a 50 amp burst, which is pretty insane, actually, for, for such an, something so small. To have such a huge burst and um yeah well i mean that's that's all that could really be said about it, it does have a heat sink and uh, these silicone these wires are silicone so and uh let's take it on the bench Okay, so how did this one do? Well, this one actually did quite a bit better than the Airbot RAT32 in perspective of high frequency noise, which tends to leak into the voltage regulator, which we will see the noise on the VTX and camera and all that kind of crazy stuff. So in terms of noise, it actually did pretty good. It, it, it did better, better than the Airbot RAT32s and it's pretty noticeable actually. Now, you know, for voltage spikes, they're both in the same area. They're averaging 24s point something. So they're still within the safe zone. So that's not an issue at all. Uh, the voltage drops, this actually did a little bit better than the Airbot Wrath uh, 32 minis um, by, you know, uh, the Airbot Wrath averaged out 11.8 volts. This one averaged out around 12.2, uh, yeah, we could say 12.2 volts was really its average, 12.1, 12.3. So we'll just stick it in the middle. 12.2 volts was the voltage drop, which is beautiful. Um, but, you know, just, just the, the size of this is what actually is making it awesome. However, the price is also just like a slap in the face. So, I mean, you are, um, it's performing very good here on the bench so far. So that's all I can really say. But um, I mean, in the field, I have no idea. And that's why I want to build this. Maybe we make a super light build with this guy and see how they perform because it's just so absolutely tiny. Like, like 
it's it's feather light it's just insane here especially if i cut these off i wonder how much you know weight i'm going to decrease because usually you never have your motor and esc wires longer than this right here so this, this is going to be pretty good it's going to be pretty insane uh hopefully it does perform in, in in real life i might stick like some hungry motors on there maybe some like i don't know emacs 2750s or <clears throat> Don't know just yet, but I'm going to put something very, very demanding on these to really push them and see how well they hold. But, um, you know, overall, the test seemed good. Um, it was just a little bit above average. Nothing super crazy, but it is super crazy for something so tiny to do pretty good. This good, actually. Uh, for example, the Emacs bullets are in the same size. The Racer Star MS series are in the same size, but this just completely annihilates them. And in my consideration, I would say this annihilates the Airbot Wrath 32 minis. Um, not by a lot, but in perspective of noise, this will run a lot cleaner uh, from looking at it here. So they're probably using some very good MOSFETs that do have very good, you know, switching time, which which um, reduces the amount of possible noise and, or something getting out of phase. So overall, it's nice. Um, some of the drawbacks is I wish it had a current sensor. The Airbot Wrath 32 Mini did have current sensing. Uh, this does not um, at all. Now, um, but all you can do is use it basically for GSHOT 1200. I don't know if it has telemetry. I have not checked into it, but you could probably access one of the telemetry pads here. But I don't know what kind of telemetry you'll be getting. Maybe some temperature telemetry or some RPM telemetry for sure. Um, but other than that, that, that's it. You know, it's just a, it's, it's basically a, a micro, um, which is a, a lightweight ESC that performs actually very well. So if you're in the market for something like that, this seems good on the bench. And if anyone's used it, please let us know down in the comment section. I will be putting this on our ESC testing quad first and then possibly making the light build with it. So um, this looks nice. Um, and um, that's all I could really say right now. So this is the x -Roder, the Hobbywing x 30 amp micro BL Heli 32 ESC. So... Um, it looks nice. I, I can't see anything that's bad. I mean, here it just has a little, very not nice, the soldering, as you can see there, just like it's splattered. Um, but um, yeah, that's all it comes with. And seems good. And that's all I can say right now, guys. So if anyone's used it, just let us know down in the comments section. And I really hope this video helped you out. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.